Hello, friends. Uncle Mark here once again from Radio Row at Pax 8 Beyond 24 in Denver, Colorado. And uh, just had lunch, so feeling a little groggy here. But uh, my friend here is going to help pick us up. And uh, she is somebody that, once again, even though we live not too far apart, we have to fly across country to see each other. I'm talking about Michelle Ragusa McBain from Sonic Wall. Yes. Michelle, how are you? I'm great, Marv. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So I got you here. I saw Jay walk by just a little bit ago. Yes. And, uh, but he was on a mission. He was. He had to be somewhere. Right? He was probably going to get food, too. <laughs> All right, so you're here. Let me just first ask, what do you think? Amazing. So this is my second year, first year Sonical sponsoring. Uh, I came last year as an attendee, though. And I would say all credit to Pax 8, having one of the largest inaugural events and then doubling in size is pretty phenomenal, largely due to my dear friend Rob Ray, but an incredible team at Pax 8. Great conference, so much fun great partners and great yeah. community. So I'm happy right. to be here. So what's the difference in coming as an attendee and coming as a sponsor? Well, I think coming as a sponsor is more intentional about where Sonic Wall and Pax 8 want to partner together. And so some special things in the works there. Uh, you heard earlier today about partners coming soon. So I'll give you a spoiler alert there. Yay. But we're really excited because I think that, you know, we're both companies that really are channel driven partner focused have a very intentional feeling about how do we support and enable and listen to our partners and i think that's very important for sonic wall we're 100 percent channel company which means that everything we do is with and for and by our partners we we would not be successful without all of you yeah so i love to hear that same mentality from people we work with and it really is a testament to how we can be better together yeah so, of course, the last time we chatted on the show, it was the big announcement, you know, with the solutions granted acquisition. So how much are you still getting in reaction to that? Are you still getting people walking up to you? and Because yeah. they're looking for Michael. Absolutely. And he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael is actually right now at our Sonic Wall sales kickoff, teaching the team about the amazing managed security services that we now offer at Sonic Wall. And I think that's incredible I mean we listen to our partners whether we're building it in our tech roadmap and innovating it with Chandra Prasad and our quality assurance with Oscar Demott or we're partnering with people who are going to help us with those integrations like in the community Roost or Lion Guard or our acquisition strategy with Solutions Granted and Banyan so we're meeting our partners where they are in their journey with all layers of security, not just the sonic wall firewalls that are very beloved by everyone, but we have to think about the threat landscape, which you heard a lot about today, and it's ever increasing, and it's important that you are protected at all layers. And so for us, more than ever, um, we did a survey with CRN and said, how many of our partners, what do you need, what do you want, who do you want to partner with? And for example, SOC as a service was a huge demand that people wanted. They didn't want to build it in-house, yet they wanted their customers to be safe and protect it 24 by 7. Yep, yep. How do you do that with limited resources, time, capability, operational courses is of course working with our company now. We can help with that, right? From managed detection response, EDR to SOC as a service. And even if you are, you know, partnering with somebody else, I'd love everyone to be a Sonic Wall partner, but I know you probably have other people in your stack. And so we're ecosystem agnostic and we're really working on making sure that we can meet you in that journey, um, be flexible consumption, have that billing and arrears capability, partner with the people that you want to partner with and really lean in to how we make it very easy to do business with Sonic Wall. All right. So I had a discussion with somebody earlier today. I didn't bring it up myself, and I'm not doing this, you know, telling you this just because, but the big old discussion was, you know, firewall vendors. Somebody was talking about moving away from another product, and they asked me, I'm like, I'm a Sonic Wall person. Yeah, yeah. So then they started to ask me all the questions. Okay, so how is the firewall as a service work, or is it hardware as a service? And I'm like, you know what, I don't even know <laughs> myself. Right. Um, but in terms of blending, 
the stuff between what Sonic Wall was offering through uh, the partner program and then what Solutions Granted was offering, uh, are those going to be merged into one or are we keeping them separate? I don't know if I asked you that before. Yes, no, it's a great question and probably we wouldn't have had the answer right then either, so it's a good thing you're asking it now. We are rolling Solutions Granted into our Secure First program as well, so the managed security as we're calling it is going to be a piece of that puzzle. Okay. So earlier this year, February, we relaunched our Secure First program, so we lowered the rebate threshold so more partners can earn rebates. Yep, thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> we started accruing market development funds because it was always proposal based. And I said, no, this is something we need to do together. We need to co-brand and co-market and co-innovate with our partners. Your success is our success. So how do we invest back into you? So that was a big thing. We did work on, we had two different programs. So we had the MSP or MSSP program, they referred to it as, right. and we had Secure First. They merged together okay. in February, in November in North America, and then February globally. And so that, you know, single endpoint, flexible, cancel any time, no rigidity, no obligation. Yay. Exactly right. We want to make sure it's very simple. And so that's absolutely where Michael is in his journey. He was a Sonic Wall partner for 18 years yep. himself, yep. which is incredible. So he not only understands the technology and believes in the product, but he also believes in the partnership. And we believe in the partnership with him as well. In fact, as he mentioned, it's the only acquisition that I know of where we kept his entire team, including his CFO. So to have two CFOs in a company to say, how do we make sure we do this right? Um, but then we want to make sure, like if you're doing, you know, MDR with Michael, I want you to grow tiers in the Secure First program. Like this is not a either or, this is one plus one equals three. And so how do we continue to get you to that next level with us, keep you growing with us, make sure that you get all the benefits that we think our partners need to be successful with us. That's when we're winning. Well, I can tell you this, people are watching because I'll be honest, as much as, much as Sonic Wall went through those, you know, days of Dell hell or whatever it was, <laughs> there were people like me that stuck with Sonic Wall right. because we believed in the product. Um, and so Sonic Wall has been on this I don't want to say a meteoric rise. It's it's a high for the last couple of years. Solutions granted, of course, and the two companies coming together. People people want to see how is this going to work because we've got two great companies. Thank you. Um, and it doesn't feel like it's you absorbing no. just to buy up stuff. It really feels like a synergistic yes. event. So we're watching and I'll see how it's going. I I appreciate that tremendously, and I give Michael all the respect in the world for what he's been able to build and I'm so grateful that we get to work together because I think he and the team the entire team Brian Corey Lisa everybody at Solutions Grant even Lisa Loco oh I love Lisa Loco <laughs> Lisa if you're there we miss you we are at this event we love you Loco <laughs> and I will I said to Michael today I said it's amazing because we're very agile both of us, both of our cultures, which is rare for a 22-year-old, 33-year-old company. Yep. It's fine in a startup. You would imagine that you would have to be quick and responsive. But in a more seasoned or more tenured company, it is more challenging. And so I'll give you a great example. The other day, we get survey results. So we did a total partner experience survey, which you might have gotten asked to I fill did. out. I did. Hope you did. I know we send a lot of surveys. <laughs> um, but the reason is because we want to hear from our partners. We want to make sure that we're still skating to where the puck is going and that we're listening and learning and helping to drive that nice with Florida you. Florida Panthers reference yes. in there for the <laughs> NHL finals. Oh yes, oh yes. Although my husband is from Edmonton and we live in Florida. Oh. And I was a New York Rangers fan. So we just oh, helped divide it. Well, we lost, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're the ones that beat you. Yeah, I am rooting for Florida now. It's official. Um, but as I went through that motion, um, survey results come in. We had 642 survey responses okay. from uh, around the world. First time we've launched a global survey right. with CRN. So I was very excited to see what everyone had to say. And in that survey, something came up about Deal Rich. And so I said to our team, I said, what do you think about the deal rich process? And they're like, which answer do you want? I'm like, the honest answer. <laughs> and they're like, it could be improved. Yes. And I'm like, okay, walk me through it. Cause I don't want to sit in an ivory tower where I don't actually do the deal regs. How they, do I figure it out, uh, right? They, I'll be honest, I'll tell they were horrible. It was horrible. From my perspective, 
I would just much rather just just buy it and not even yeah. go through the deal reg. So, and we want to fix that because that's why have a broken process. Why make it hard for you or employees? Some of our partners, they'll even do it for you, like White Glove Concierge. And I love that too, but how do we scale all our partners to have that same treatment? Yeah. So I don't want it to be a difficult challenge process. So I work with Julian and Justin and our team. I go, take me through it. What does it look like? How is it? Is it hard? And so we go through this process and I... I screenshot, like, that's duplicate. We don't need that twice. That's not necessary. Oh, we could say this here. And as I go through, I go to our chief of staff and I said, Zach, tell me, who owns Deal Ridge? He's like, why do you ask? I'm like, I want to change it. <laughs> and he said, oh, okay. Well, you need all the global leaders to agree. I said, sure. I said, so I sent an email, construct it within oh, 20 minutes. You didn't hours. use that, I'm the global channel chief. No, no, I didn't. I don't play that card because I, it's a team process, okay. right? And we're all in this together. And Zach said to me, this sounds like a great benefit. Austin, who leads our global inside sales team, was like, this would be wonderful if we could improve these things. Everybody aligned, and now we're in the queue to fix it. So in 24 hours, partners spoke. We listened. I listened to my internal team on the front lines. I listened to our partners. We take action, and we're going to revise and reinvigorate the deal bridge. Nice. Also, we do have new customer deal rich, which I think is a great benefit to our partners out there, you included, which means any new customer that you bring to Sonic, well, we give you 50% off okay. that customer. So I want you to have that I, money in okay. your pocket. So I heard about that. I'm like, that can't be right. 50%? It yes, it All is right. absolutely right. And so that's where I want us to say, how can we get smart? And this was all based upon feedback. So when I saw... I want improvements in dealers. It's like, well, is it the amount? Is it this? Is it the process? So understanding where the complexity lies and solving for it. In my 20 years in the channel, I haven't been able to move that fast hmm. in any company I've worked at. And so I'm proud of the work that we're doing because it's not based upon us. It's based upon us listening. But listening is only half the battle. You have to listen and react. Yeah. You have to take action. And if we're doing that right, and it makes it easier for you, our partners, then we're a much better company for you and for ourselves. All right. So I'll have to pay attention because I, one, I haven't had a deal reg in a while, so it wasn't a, a huge thing for me. I did see that, you know, the announcement that the Secure First was going to change. I, I logged in there to do a couple of things, but I'll have to take a closer look now. Yeah, and we we revamped, awesome. we revamped our whole partner portal. So if you get, if I don't know when the last time you logged in, but check it out. Any Sonic World partners out there, this is the area where, you know, I meet a lot of people that say, I've been a Sonic World partner for 10, 20 years. I said, who's your rep? They said, I don't know. I go, oh, for me, do I'm we, a relationship. Do we all have reps? <laughs> you, I don't think I do. You should. And if you don't, you'd have a territory rep. Okay. So everybody will have somebody at the end of the day. Yeah. And so we have pre-sale support. We have post-sale support. We have engineers inside and field. We have inside and sales account managers. So we realigned our territory mapping also. So you probably now have somebody. And if you don't, you have me. So you come to me anytime. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, smoke single, carry a pigeon. I don't care you get to me. We'll have a barbecue in our backyards because we're we Florida neighbors. To. We need to. Yes. <laughs> And when that happens, you tell me, you know, Michelle, I may not have all your answers, but I promise to find you the person who does. All right. So I didn't plan to talk about all this, but I'm glad you were open to it and sure. glad to see that the changes are happening. And like I said, I, I mean, I love the product. Thank you. Have always stayed with the product. I wasn't always as worried about the discounts of the deal reg. Sure. But it's nice when they're there. Yeah. So now that the process is going to be easier. I may look at some more there, but uh, I'm glad uh, that all this is working out. Very happy with the changes. Um, we went way longer than I thought I was, and I was going to ask you about all your global uh -huh. globe trials. We can because, end on that if you because want. Because you have just been all over the freaking place. Sure. And uh, you just had to, what was it, two weeks abroad, and you had to take the kids. And yeah, so, migrated. okay, so I had this fantastic idea that I was gonna go see Taylor Swift. And I tried very hard to get tickets in America, and I couldn't. And I thought, ah, oh, it's so hard. And then the prices went up considerably, like $3,000 per ticket. I'm like, that's ridiculous. For that price, I could go abroad. And then I'm like, why don't I go abroad? Uh -huh. So I started searching around the world where are some of the places she's performing, and I found Paris on Mother's Day. I thought, 
who wouldn't want to go to Paris? And on Mother's Day, I'm like, perfect. And that was the catalyst for what became a vacation. My birthday is always the week before Mother's Day. So we joke, I get all of May, my husband's birthday is June, and Father's Day is June. Yeah. So he gets all of June, and then 4th of July is our wedding anniversary. So we'll always have fireworks. Nice. <laughs> but as we went through that motion, we went to England, we went to Amsterdam for my first time, and Belgium, and had delicious waffles, and just saw the sights and had the history and educated our children. So many wonderful things. Saw the windmills, drove down to Paris, spent the day in France, and then drove back up. And so that was a whirlwind, like, very exciting vacation, 10 days-ish. And then... In one week, so after this, I'm headed right to our sales kickoff, and then our partner event is the ending of this week right. for Cisco or Sonic Wall Elevate. But then after that, I'm going to Africa on a three week safari to five countries. Okay, is this safari for tourists or is this safari for real? For real, we're okay. going to Kenya, Tanzania the wildebeest migration, the Serengeti. Okay. I'm like so excited. And I want to give a special shout out to Lion Guards, Joe Alpat, and his wife, Methy, who is the person who is from Tanzania, born and raised, and kind of the inspiration for Lion Guard, and also is helping to plan our dream vacation. Uh, so very thankful, very excited for that experience. But I, this is like a dream come true wow. for us. And also will be my children's seventh continent. So we're like ferocious travelers for work and for fun. Yeah, I gotta see that map. You must, you gotta have a big map at the house we with do. all the pins and stuff. <laughs> I, have, I wanna see that. And we do, you're gonna come over. We will, we're gonna do that. something. So, well, great to have you here and great to see both you and Jay yes. in the same place. Still not at the same time. No, it's like Clark Kent and Superman. We might be the same person, except for he's six feet tall and a man. Yeah. So. And, and he was on stage for the yes. for the for the opening keynote there. Yes. But uh, he'll be there next time, right? I will. It's okay. Yeah. Someday we'll have big news. Big. News. <laughs> well, thank you, Uncle right. well, Mark. I'll let you get going because I know somebody down the row is yeah. wanting to chat with you. But uh, there you have it, folks. Michelle Ragusa McVeigh, Global Channel Chief for Sonic Wall, uh, neighbor. We're going to be hanging out. <laughs> We so are. maybe we'll have an MSP Cribs thing coming <laughs> up soon. So that's it, folks. We'll see you. I'll have more later from Radio Row. And until then, holla.